Naomi Haloso Sr., owner of Tape Incorporated, is currently making headlines with the end of Eat Bulaga. This man's life, however, is marked by more than his roles as businessman and politician. His venture into business began with a small cinema in Dapitan. After honing his craft in the media industry, his entrepreneurial journey led him to co-found Television and Production Exponent Incorporated or Tape Inc. launching the enduring variety show It Bulaga which significantly boosted his influence and wealth. Translating this influence into political power, Aluso Sr. was elected as representative of Zamboanga del Norte in 1995. Remarkably, even while serving time in prison, he won re-election twice. However, his political career was shadowed by a serious criminal conviction. In 1996, he was sentenced to two life terms for two counts of statutory rape and six counts of lasciviousness involving an 11-year-old child. In 2007, then-President Arroyo granted Haluso Sr. clemency and commuted his sentence to only 16 years. His sentence was further reduced due to good behavior and by 2009, he had been freed after serving only 11 years, which ironically was the age of his victim. Today, he finds himself at the heart of another controversy, the closure of Itbulaga after 44 straight years, cultural mainstay and a significant source of power and wealth for his family. This development opens a new chapter of uncertainty for Halos Ho Sr., posing questions about his future influence, power, and legacy.